Hey guys, it's Anna, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of a house review for you guys. I'm going to be reviewing Commodity Fragrances. This is a vegan and cruelty-free brand, and I've been seeing Commodity all over Instagram and YouTube. They really caught my eye. I love the minimalistic packaging, um, and I really like this uh, scent space kind of idea. So I picked up the Expressive Scent Space Kit because it seems like this concentration is the most popular from the house, and then they also have personal and bold. So depending depending on how you want to wear your fragrance, whether you want it to be more intimate, something that's gonna get you noticed, or something that's just like absolutely beast mode and loud, Commodity has something for you. So they have six fragrances in their main line. They have Book, Gold, Velvet, Moss, Paper, and Milk. And each scent comes in those three different forms. And it's not necessarily, from what I've heard, that it's just like a lesser concentration, a higher concentration of the same exact formula. They do differ a little bit in the actual scent. So in this kit, I'm gonna open it up for you guys. And I've already thoroughly tested all of these. This is not a first impression. And here you have a little booklet, pamphlet. And this kind of just goes into more detail about their different scent spaces. You have the notes listed for all of the fragrances and kind of like the vibe that they were going for, what the inspiration was. And then I really liked this added touch. They include test strips in here for you. And then you can write notes on them. So if you wanna have everything organized, you can rate them, put down your thoughts. I have a ginormous Google Doc with all of my fragrance notes. <laughs> so that's why there's nothing here. And then this is what they look like all lined up together. So let's get into it, shall we? Firstly, I just wanna say, I am so impressed by this house. You guys know how picky I am. And when I go to sample fragrances, I'm kind of expecting just to love like one out of 15 or something. Spoiler alert, I literally want half of these fragrances to be full bottles in my collection. Half of them. That, <laughs> that success rate is very rare for me. They have some very beautiful perfumes. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is Gold. And this is very different from what I expected this to be. Because when people talk about this, they mainly refer to it as being a vanilla fragrance, which it definitely is, but I was expecting a gourmand vanilla, and it's not that at all. It's very delicate, and I'd say it's unisex leaning feminine. My boyfriend actually loves this perfume. He's like, yeah, um, I'm gonna need you to get a bottle of that because I'm, I'm gonna be stealing it. He told me several times the day I was wearing it how good I smelled, and he's like, what's that one called? Uh, I really like the bottle. Uh, yeah, I really like that smell, just letting you know. It doesn't smell edible at all. It has a very soft, powdery, musky presence to it. And although vanilla is a main player, it's a quiet vanilla. It's there to give the fragrance an overall sweetened wood kind of scent. The vibe that the vanilla has is kind of like the same vanilla that's in Louboutin's Louis Rouge. On my skin at least, this is definitely more woody than it is vanilla, but in the later dry down, then it becomes more half and half. The sandalwood comes across like sawdust. It's so good and you get a bit of this fresh forest juniper which I've been really loving this note lately when it's done right. It is beautiful. This smells chic. It's your skin, but better. Oh my gosh, stunning fragrance. I cannot wait to get a bottle of this in my collection. The next one is Velvet, and the opening of this perfume is fire. I was like, holy shit. Yes, I need a bottle. But then after two minutes, it's not for me anymore. I do think it's a good fragrance overall, I really do. But on my skin, at least, I get this burnt leather note. I'm guessing it's from the clove, 
and I'm also not the biggest fan of the type of rose that's used in this fragrance. It's a darker rose. It's not like there's a shit ton of rose in here, but the rose that is in here, it's a, it's a deeper rose. This is mainly woody, warm, spicy. You get vanilla and then of course that rose. So I think on the right person, this scent would be incredible, but it just did not mesh with me. Next fragrance. Milk. I am not gonna lie, this <laughs> name really turned me off from trying the fragrance. I love a creamy quality in my fragrances, but I do not want to smell like dairy. So hearing a fragrance literally be called milk, I'm like, oh no. But I asked you guys over on my Instagram what your favorite commodity fragrances were, and there were a lot of votes for milk. So then I did a little Fragrantica search and I found out that milk is actually pretty small, pretty quiet in terms of the overall note profile. And most people are voting this to be like a marshmallow woody scent. And that, I am all about that. So yes, you are right. This is absolutely beautiful. To me, on me, this is mainly marshmallows, and I get all of the different parts of the marshmallow. I get the powdery outer coating, I get the ooey gooey inside, but the mahogany wood keeps it from ever getting too sweet. So yes, it's a sweet fragrance, but it's not anything overly so, like Ariana Grande Cloud. And the milk note is perfect. It's creamy, lactonic, frothy, but it's in the background. It's not screaming like, I am milk. The opening smells like there's a light cinnamon note dashed on top, but that goes away after a couple minutes. And then around the 45 minute mark, that's where the wood starts to amp up. The marshmallow tones down um, and I lose the milk note completely while it's still retaining that creamy quality. Super cozy and comforting. Perfect for bedtime, Netflix and chill kind of situation. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Moving on to paper. I really don't have much to say about this one because yes, <laughs> the name is, is perfect. It smells like a piece of paper. Not, not much I can say about that. I barely smell anything at all. Um, yes, this is the absolute definition of a skin scent. I would not recommend this one. I would completely pass it. If you want like a clean you but better scent, um, skin scent, there are much better fragrances on the market that's that are still going to deliver a little something. They're gonna do something for you. So I don't think it's worth the money to spend on this one. Um, like what's the point, you know? I don't know about you, but I buy fragrance to smell like something. If I simply just liked the routine of spraying something, I mean, I might as well just buy a spray bottle of water. Next one is Moss, and I was very excited to try this one because if you know me, you know I love Oak Moss as a note. Just give it to me. Yes. I will subscribe to that. This is nice. Not wow factor, but it's definitely very pleasant. This is mainly very citrusy from the bergamot, and then of course you do get that oak moss note, which if you're familiar with Chloe Nomad, you'll know what that smells like. I much prefer Chloe Nomad, so if you are gonna go for a citrusy oak moss fragrance, go for that one. It has more character, more of a wow factor. It's just stunning. Moss is aromatic, woody, fresh, musky, earthy in a clean kind of way. It's nice, but very average to me. Like when it dries down, it's very run of the mill. Been there, done that. That's my take on it. Nothing special. And the last one is book, and this is gorgeous. I cannot believe I don't hear people talking about this one. I hear people talking about velvet, gold, and milk. That's it. 
Where are the book lovers? Here I am, baby. Signs say it's living, I'm yours. In the opening, yes, this does smell like old books in the best way. Like, you're in this cute little bookstore in Europe on the side of the street. It's kind of hidden away, and when you walk in, you just are overwhelmed with the smell, the romantic, gorgeous smell of these old hardcover books. You pick up a very soft whisper of resinous sweetness from the amorous or amber, maybe both. You pick up the fresh cedar and cypress. It's like you're reading an old book on the top of a mountainside. You breathe in the cold, woody mountain air. I'm obsessed. In the dry down, it develops into a much smoother, lighter, softer, more demure version of Centaur 33. Uh, Santal Vani from The Seven Virtues. And I know that I say that Santal Vani is a smoother, not harsh kind of version of Santal 33. This is even more toned down than Santal Vani. So it develops into that kind of scent profile while still holding on to that character from the opening. This has a bit of a romantic quality to it as well. I picture Belle smelling like this after she's been in that library of her all day. This does not smell like a princess at all. Like this is not, this would not be something that Belle would wear, but it is what she would smell like coming out of that place. This scent is the aroma of that magical library that the beast created. It's very comforting. It smells like a self-care kind of day. And I was going back and forth for several days trying to decide if I should get a bottle of this because I do have Santal Vani and I've come to the conclusion that yes, <laughs> I do. Um, I do find them different enough, even though they're definitely in the same profile, they give off different vibes and I find the parts that make them unique are so beautiful. I will mention that the sillage is going to be intimate. This is not going to project very far at all, but it's just a beautiful experience wearing it throughout the day, getting whiffs of it. Um, Santal Vani is definitely a much stronger fragrance. Absolutely stunning perfectly unisex and I also think this would make a great layering scent. If you want to top up any vanilla scents to this, oh yes. So those are my thoughts, my recommendations. I cannot wait to bring gold, milk, and book into my collection. They're beautiful. Gold is my favorite and then between book and milk I haven't really decided which one I prefer. I love them both and they're very different. So that is all for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. If you want to see me in any more videos I'd appreciate it so so much. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!